Hi, my name is Sean Mars and I'm an application engineer for Hockridge Systems. And in this video, I'm going to show how the Load Case Manager, a tool that allows us to define multiple separate loading conditions, can give us more options for topology studies. Recently, I came up with the idea of trying to convince our digital manufacturing team to print me a skateboard. My plan for this project was to make a small board just big enough to ride around our business park, and of course, when making sweet, cool guy entries into Hockridge Systems events. So why do we need the Load Case Manager to help us with this situation? Well, when you're cruising around on a skateboard, you mainly utilize two stances, one for pushing and one for riding. While pushing, a single foot is situated near the middle or toward the front of the board, um, and your entire weight is on that one foot. So that generally is going to bend the middle of the board down. When you're in your cruising stance, however, your weight is distributed across two feet, one of which usually rests around the tail of the board, and this ends up bending the middle of the board up. These two different loading conditions flex the board in two different directions, thus changing which sides are in compression and tension. So for our topology study, utilizing both as a combined load wouldn't be the most realistic representation of these two loading conditions, and would work toward canceling each other out. This is where the Load Case Manager, which is available in SOLIDWORKS Simulation Professional, comes into play. In order to simply demonstrate how the Load Case Manager works and what it does, we're going to take a look at a simple example first. Here I have a flat plate that's loaded from two different directions and then fixed on the bottom. But before we get to the Load Case Manager, let's take a look at how the topology study would handle each load case individually. First, when we're loaded from the top, we get results very reminiscent of classic bridge designs. Then when we're loaded from the side, we get an entirely different structure. And the results from these initial tests could give us useful insights when designing for those respective loading conditions. But it's not necessarily obvious how a structure could best integrate elements from both of these results. And what about the case of combined loading, or both the loads happening at the same time? Though that wouldn't work for the loading conditions on our skateboard, uh, in a lot of cases that would seem to be a viable solution. Uh, instead of that, we're going to go ahead and see how we can set up the load case manager. First, we just set up a single simulation study, in our case topology, that has every load and fixture needed for all loading conditions. And then we just right click at the top of the tree and select multiple load cases. And then set up different loading cases by clicking the plus button, typing a name, and unsuppressing the appropriate loads and fixtures. Before we start the study, we do want to double check that our study properties are set to use the min-max formulation. When we use the optimization goal best stiffness to weight ratio, this looks to maximize the component stiffness or minimize its compliance for each load case independently. The results we get are very different than the combined loading case. Uh, but in order to accurately validate which is stronger, uh, we would need to run standard linear static studies on bodies that were going to be redesigned based on these topology studies. In our case, we do have very simple geometry, and we can export this out as one solid body. Um, so we can actually run the static studies on these plates that we've created from the topology study. Uh, but it should be noted that it's always going to give you fairly tessellated geometry, and um, in a lot of cases, there's a lot of cleanup involved. So generally, you're, you would use the results from the topology study as a reference to make standard SOLIDWORKS sketches and cuts. Now let's see how this process played out for the skateboard. So first, as reference, I ran topology studies for each of the individual loading conditions. Uh, here is the mid-board load. You can see that there's a lot of reinforcement where the load would be, but we have almost nothing in the tail other than where I told it to retain that outer uh, rim of the board. Next, we have the nose and tail loading, which once again, we have a lot of material where loading conditions are, um, and then just kind of interconnected areas where it tried to drop a lot of its weight. Lastly, we have the load case manager, uh, which is somewhat of a combination of the two, but you can see that it has its own different elements. And you know, something with topology studies is that I still wanted to run this with you know varying settings in terms of my manufacturing goals, my optimization goals, um, and then be using this as reference. So really, when it comes down to it, with the topology study, all three of these results are going to be very useful for me in determining where I can shave weight, where I can reduce uh, the volume of material. 
All right, so thank you very much for tuning in for this video and checking out how the load case manager can expand the capabilities of the topology study by allowing you to define separately applied loading conditions. Now, while we're focused on the topology study, the load case manager is also available for linear static studies as well. If you want more in-depth information on topology studies and other simulation topics, you should check out our other blog articles and our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.